G'day and welcome to another Get Ready With Me. This time, Snow White in her Christmas dress, which is based off this porcelain statue. Right, let's begin, and as always, it's with the shoes. I bought these gorgeous Gibson style shoe in this lovely ruby red. My friend at work saw them and immediately thought of me in my Snow White outfit. So she rang around all the different stores and put a pair on hold in my size as they were on clearance. She really is the best. I ended up getting this red pair and the same in black and they're both super comfy. Next is the crinoline. Yep, the same one I've used for Ariel and Tudor Yoda. What can I say? It's super versatile. If you'd like to see the tutorial on how I made this, I'll link it below. Next is this simple petticoat. And whilst we're talking about tutorials, you guessed it, I made a tutorial for this one too, and that's linked below as well. And when I say simple, I mean it's super simple. Think two rectangles sewn together, add some elastic on the top, that kind of simple. I did however make this slightly too long, but oh well, it still works. Next, it's time for some colour, starting off with the skirt. This is an A-line skirt and I cut it out using a base layer of satin and it does up on the side with two press studs. Then over the top of it all, it has an amazing overlay of red shot black organza with gold embroidery. To say it is fancy is putting it mildly. It was given to me by a very dear friend who knows how utterly blessed I feel to have her in my life. Organza aside, she is simply amazing. Next is the bodice. This was a pretty standard bodice made in a brocade for my stash and some stretch net for the sleeves. It does up with a zip at the back and is finished at the waist with a fur trim. The bodice is also the one part of this costume that I'm not 100% happy with because it really should have been boned. Oh well, live and learn, right? Next, you may need something to keep the chill away at Christmas, right? Especially since it's not like I'm in Australia or anything and Christmas is generally over 30 degrees Celsius. That's about 86 degrees Fahrenheit for our American friends. Anyway, the hooded bolero. Honestly, this little piece was my personal favorite part of this whole outfit. The little puff sleeves, the little hood, the fur trim, and the pattern matching of the organza again. Uh, it was just a cute little garment. Okay, it's now time to remove the glasses because next up we have the wig. This wig I got on sale from AliExpress for $16 ages ago. And for that price, I will say this, this wig is absolutely fabulous, especially unstyled. Oh, attractive. Come on, Kiralee, fix yourself up, girl. And with a little bit of curl control, we now have a very decent Snow White wig. But we aren't done yet because Snow White is a princess and a princess needs a tiara. This gold little tiara was my nan's and it was just perfect for this outfit. After it is secured in place, the overall costume is now complete, but I still feel like there's something missing. And that is, of course, the red apple. Don't worry, this is a prop apple and it was actually green to start off with. I had to paint it. Seriously, there were no fake red apples anywhere in Perth when I needed them. Okay, now with that, the cosplay is complete. If you would like to see the construction vlog, you guessed it, I have a link for that video and that's below too. Overall though, I will say that this costume all came together really easily and really nicely. I quite like it and it was my first intentional Christmas cosplay. Also, the only things that I ended up buying for this entire project was the fur trim and the apple. The rest were items from my stash. Use the stash, use the stash. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment below, hit that like button, subscribe for more content, you know, all that good stuff. Also, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my wonderful patrons, especially those on the machine tier who are Justine Ghosty, Caroline Dracchio, Return of the T Shack, Rogue Threads, and Andrea Halesco. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.